Good morning, guys. So this is uh, Thursday, um, the 23rd. This is our last day in Tokyo. It feels like I've been here for a while, even though really, I've only really sightsee for about three days. It is the last day, and uh, tomorrow we'll be, uh, we'll be headed on the Shinkansen towards uh, Osaka. Yeah, so today is a little bit rainy. Uh, this is the first time I think it has really been like this, where it's like a little humid. Okay, though, we are going to go to this artificial island off the off of the bay. To get there, we need to take the metro and this like people mover thing that goes over the bridge. Um, there's like a lot of Gundam stuff over there. Um, there's a Toyota museum. I'm, at, I'm gonna probably check out those out. So yeah, let's do it. I guess this is the wholesale market, so the fisher, ship it to the wholesaler, the wholesaler goes through like the buyer, so, so like this is like I guess the authorized wholesaler and the buyer and then it goes into the stock, the stocking, which is the retailer and the author authorized buyer and then it goes to the selling and then it goes to the consumer. Quite a bit of a chain here. So guys, we just got out of the fish market and uh, took the train back towards uh, the main part of the island. And we're currently at... Here, let me show you. Ready, 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 ready? Pallet Town. So I'm, I'm here going to try to be my very best to be a Pokemon master. There's a Toyota Museum here. Actually, right here. And so I'm going to do that for a little bit. But this whole place is like a little adult theme park style. Like, it's, it's pretty nice and it's pretty cool. So, yeah, we're gonna check that out. Okay, so this is the Toyota area. Oh wow, this, this one's nice. Wow. This looks really, really cool. It's too bad because there's a test track here that you can try cars, but I did not bring an international driver license. So this is supposed to open at 11. It is now 10.59, so at some point they're gonna let us out, I think. <clears throat> they're gonna let us downstairs into the showroom, I guess. This is really cool, huh? There's free admission to some of these things, so I really want to check that out. Like, I think that's a motion, uh, that's a motion game there. So I'm gonna maybe go over there and check it out right now before everything else closes or before everything else gets get busy. So this is sports zone. I don't know what this is, but nope, this is not what I, what you think it is. It looks Ferris wheel. Yeah, we're gonna check this out. This is the Rise Studio. 
so is this where the go kart is? I don't know, but we're gonna check it out anyway. Step one, reserve and reception. Step two, ticket. Okay. And step three, gather and let the fun begin. So I guess we're gonna go back over there and we're gonna do that motion ride at 11.30. This is a really beautiful view here. So we're about to do this like VR motion seat thing for the Toyota Ganzo Racing. I don't know what car we're sitting in. Is it a GR that we're sitting in? So that would be really cool. So this is what it says. So you have to just strap the headband in and then you have to sit and then, you know, that's, that's more or less it. And then after this, we're going to check out a couple of malls. Uh, the food bank opens at 2 to 4. So we're going to donate some of the food here to the food bank because it, it, that's way too heavy for my back but I really didn't want to throw it out that was the thing this is really cool I mean it's all free so so we just got into the Toyota um, factory or the where the uh, exhibit or whatever you want to call it and um, we're now in Diva station area so this is Aqua City it's like a giant mall and here there's actually a ramen street. So we're gonna be having ramen today because it's pretty damp and cold. Um, you can see actually the, the Olympic rings right there. There's also the um, the Tokyo Bridge or the Rainbow Bridge. It's actually the name of it. So we're gonna go over there after lunch. But for now, I need food. Ramen street, fifth floor. This is the 4th floor and then there's the Tokyo Ramen Kokuhan which is um, something for translation to Ramen Street so the music selection is pretty good oh there's a buffet oh it's a sizzler oh my gosh So we just finished the ramen and that was amazing. So I finally had Tokyo style ramen. So that was pretty good. So now let's check out the view here and then uh, we'll be on the way. Just on the way now to that food bank, the second harvest. 
let's hope they take it because I'm not so sure if they will or not but you know this is my best bet um, it's just to offload pretty much most of the fruit bars I bought over from uh, from Toronto because unfortunately we will not be able to eat all of them today so yeah we're just trying to get rid of as much of them as we can doing so it's taking me to some very interesting uh, alleyways uh, in Akihabara which is the electric town district so there's all these like restaurants and it actually all sits underneath of the train track they're all tucking kind of fairly uh, fairly well underneath the arcs and that's really really cool I mean that's an amazing use of space so I think that's this is it so I'm gonna turn the camera off for a second here yeah so I went and talked to the guy the gentleman and he just took it like he was like yeah no that's perfect so it ended up working very very well and it was really it was a long line of people waiting for food because I guess they opened two hours during the day and then uh and then they just were able to get what they need. So now we're gonna go back up to uh, to Akihabara Station. I uh, just check out what's there is there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go from there. Don't know if I want to end my night in Akihabara or in uh, in Shibuya or Shinjuku. Loki really wants to go back to Shinjuku and Shibuya. I, I don't know why. I feel more comfortable in that area. Lots of really interesting alleyways here. Um, this is really really cool. So now walking kind of back towards the tourist area. Um, I don't. I don't really haven't really thought about the souvenirs yet, which is what I was supposed to do, but didn't really get there. So yeah, so that was the conveyor belt sushi experience that's very different. It wasn't really conveyor belt where, you know, the food comes to you in a sense where it just goes around and around. It's, they make the food and then it comes to you. So now we're going to go home, got some dessert. Um, time right now is 7.06. So my JR pass expires at 7.43 or something like that. So yeah, so I'm going to head home first and then grab some uh, grab something to eat at uh, at the 7-eleven downstairs and then uh, go from there okay I want to see this so I always wonder what is the difference like why is this so popular like so you can make this yourself like what, what else do you need you probably don't need anything else and it's heavy and it's for five so So I need one last snack thing, like a dessert before I uh, head out of here. Tastes kind of like grapes, it smells like grapes, so it probably is artificial grape. So that's that. And then this apple tea, I'm really excited to try. I mean, it's a tea's tea, so I'm pretty sure it's good stuff. And also, it's made by Italy, and so those are the they, they're legit, so we'll see.